As Christmas and the end of lockdown in England nears, how do you spread some seasonal cheer without uncontrollably spreading something else? Tonight, reports suggest that the government will allow up to three households to meet for five days around the festive period. I'm glad that they can allow people to mix. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's unfair for people to have to try and resort to Zoom in. Grandma, if you're watching, I'm excited to see you, but it doesn't feel like I'm not sure if it's the best decision. Meanwhile, the Chancellor has already confirmed that prior to that, tiered restrictions in England will return and be toughened up. The good news is we're going to be exiting national restrictions, which is something that people, I think, at the beginning of this were, were doubtful of. And we said that was very much what we wanted to deliver. We are going to deliver that. Prime Minister will be setting out more details tomorrow about going back to a more localised approach, seeing what we can do to allow families to see each other um, at Christmas time. But it, it is not going uh, to be normal. Here in Bristol, where coronavirus rates are soaring, the strictest of restrictions may well be applied, as this shop owner fears. There's so many different outcomes of what can happen in the next few weeks and leading up to Christmas as well, we might see further restrictions coming back in if this lockdown hasn't ultimately worked the way it should. So it is really difficult. However, the curfew for pubs and restaurants in England is likely to be softened. Last orders would become 10pm, leaving an hour to eat and drink up. An attempt to prevent large crowds again spilling out simultaneously while handing the struggling hospitality sector a financial boost. But this immunologist warns that easing what's allowed at Christmas, even for a few days, will come with fatal consequences. It would be a mistake for everyone to interpret that as being, OK, we can just all behave perfectly normally and sit close to each other on the sofa. We may so desperately want to do that, I do understand. But it would be a big mistake at this stage to think that actually we can just have a few days off because we will pay for it in terms of hospital admissions and deaths. We may find out as soon as tomorrow what the relaxation of rules over Christmas will be, but only if all four home nations are in agreement. Which areas in England will be moving into the top tier of restrictions will only be known later in the week to allow for the most current data to be scrutinised. The Prime Minister's decision will be criticised either way, but one that, while isolating, he must make for our communal good. Richard Palo, ITV News.